Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today we are doing differentiation, the basic differentiation. This is basically for the O level students who are doing a like uh, differentiation first time and the A level students AS level who are also doing the differentiation first time. So the basic differentiation, that's who has no idea about differentiation, I'm going to start. Just I'm writing here one example, x power is 5. And then I'm writing d upon dx before that okay i'm writing a result here just check it out what is the result i'm writing 5x power is 4 okay i want to use one more example one more example just check it out just observe first of all this is x power is 10 and i want to write d upon dx this is called the differentiation so when I write, what is the result? I'm just writing the result first, 10 x power nine. Are you observing something? Five x power five, five x power four, x power 10, 10 x power nine. Something is happening, 10 is becoming nine, five is becoming four, and this five is coming here, this 10 is coming here. One more example, and please just give me the answer, okay? I'm writing 20 here. And I want to differentiate now. Okay. I just want to discuss the formula as how we apply the differentiation. This is what 20x 10 power x power 10 is equals to 10 x9. What will be happening here? Just check it out. This 20 is coming here. Yes, x is becoming 1 power minus. This is coming 19. Yes, that's it. That's good. And one more thing I would like to give one example in negative sign minus 5. And please minus 5, please be careful because the, we have to, what we are doing in the with the power, we are reducing the power by 1, minus 1. This minus 5 will become the coefficient. X power is like 5 minus 1 is 4, 10 minus 1 is 9, 20 minus 1 is 19, minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. That's the problem. So finally what we have concluded, that's the formula to just make the formula for differentiation whenever you want to do the differentiation of any of the variable with respect to x very important with respect to x because with when i say with respect to y i will write d upon dy when i say with respect to z i will write d upon dz so that is very important so we are doing differentiation with respect to x so i'm writing here x power and n so do you think what 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 we have done here like can you write here this what is happening this five the power is becoming the coefficient so this x n will become the coefficient and x is here and this x n 5 minus 1 is 4 10 minus 1 is 9 10 minus 20 minus 1 is 19 so this will become n minus 1 so that is a formula to find the differentiation and second thing i just want to extend this formula in such a way that we have a number already here like i'm writing and i'm also giving one example here suppose uh, the example is here i'm writing that uh, d upon dx with x power sorry this is 2x power 3 so what's the result this 3 will become the coefficient but this 3 coefficient is okay but you have to multiply that 3 to the is 6 and x power is 3 minus 1 is 2 so that's the answer so here what we are doing this n multiply with a n multiply with a and x power will become what 1 minus 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 1 so that's the formula and we are using for our question so I so before starting the exercise, like I would like to say this, please always remember these rules. I mean, these rules will definitely help you that how we do the differentiation. I hope so. This is like uh, I always start the uh, discuss these rules before starting my exercise. So just remember, first, I am doing the differentiation. You have done it like differentiation of differentiation of x power 5 we have done it right what's the result as we know the formula of the differentiation is what the formula of the differentiation is x power n 
even you can write a x power n the formula is n or a n x power n minus 1 this is the formula of differentiation okay okay if this is the formula what's the result the result the 5 will become the coefficient and x will power will become min, like minus 1 is 4 second thing what you have to remember this is like very important thing and i hope i would like to say this please just do this first minus 5 what's the result minus 5 x power minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6 even you can write minus 5 x power is 6 you can write this power is positive third thing what you have to remember before starting differentiation when you want to do the differentiation of only x the answer is coming 1 yes the answer is coming 1 because dx dx is cancelled out the answer is coming 1 this one more thing you have to remember when you do the differentiation with a number 5 answer is coming 0 it means the differentiation of constant terms whenever we have constant term the differentiation is always zero for example here if i write d upon dx with a the answer is coming zero why because a is a constant number this with respect to x is very important because in like today we are doing all the question with respect to x differentiation i'm moving to next part when we have the differentiation of like here is given one uh, five upon i'm writing the question first five upon x power two so this means i have to move this denominator power x up so that will become what that will become x power okay i'm writing here x power two then it is becoming x five x power is minus two so now this is the same minus 2 multiply with 5 even you can write like this 5 first then this multiply you can write multiply minus 2 and x power is reduced by 1 is minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so the right answer is 5 times 2 is minus 10 x power 3 you can write positive is up to you okay this is the way one most very important like in differentiation i'm writing example here just in with star is this you have to remember okay what the differentiation of uh, under root x this is very important under root x so what is the result of under root x i'm just doing some working here just please check it out when we do the differentiation of under root x the under root x means the x power is 1 upon 2 okay i'm doing simple differentiation what this 1 upon 2 will become the coefficient okay i'm writing coefficient here and this x power like power will reduce by 1 so it is 1 upon 2 and minus 1 so what's the result 1 upon 2 x power half minus 1 is negative 1 upon 2 negative half when you use calculator or you can do the working this negative okay can you make it positive okay we can make it positive by shifting down so x power is 1 upon 2 this 2 is already there do you think this 1 x power 1 upon 2 is also called the root so can we write 1 upon 2 under root x so this why i am doing this actually you have to write here whenever the under root is given only under root x you will write 1 upon 2 under root x and make it fix don't change it just make it fix that will definitely help you you don't need to do the whole calculation just give the answer direct when we have root but when we have like uh, d upon dx with x power is 1 upon 3 then we you have to do it like 1 upon 3 x 1 upon 3 and minus 1 and so on you have to work on it but whenever this under root x is given please remember you have to use you have to make it fixed this is the fixed uh, differentiation and make this keep in your mind this we are using under root x with under root x for example uh, when i just write d upon dx with like uh, 3 under root x so 3 will remain there and under root x differentiation is 1 upon 2 under root x so that will 1 is already there 3 upon 2 under root x and that's your result this is the way you have to do the differentiation and any constant term this is very important constant term this x this negative 
so whenever you have like coefficient you have to like uh, multiply with this power this was the basic tips I, I mean i just i would like to say this you have to remember these rules before starting exercise so we have done the basic differentiation this is the formula how to use the formula and how to uh, start the exercise so please remember these formula so that we can start our exercise in the next video i hope that uh, this video is useful for you for the basic differentiation and please like my video subscribe my channel and share with your friends and do not forget to press the bell icon button so that you can receive my new video thank you so much and have a nice day